what's going on guys, Sunny aka The Random Recorder here, and I am not at all hyped for Watch Dogs 3. Um, so the reaction at E3 to Watch Dogs 3 was huge, they were like, I can play as a grandma! Wow! And I'm sitting here, I'm like, okay, like, yeah, it's funny. It, it looks funny to play as a grandma. That's, I can agree with that. Um, it's just that that actually doesn't do anything for your gameplay at all, right? If you really take, if you really think about it, the game is like, okay, for this mission, I need you to be able to, um, deal with a drone, for example, right? I think that was one of the missions that they showed off. I found some games on YouTube, but I think it's like, we need to find someone who can deal with a drone. And it looks like the game is just going to boil around to, you get a mission, you walk around the entire map of London, which I'm sure is going to be pretty big, you're just going to walk around the entire map, find the right person, and then do the mission, and then rinse and repeat. <laughs> And essentially, what that means is the game boils around to walking around, looking at people, doing very short, like, five-minute missions, and then going back to walking around. Meaning you're probably just going to spend more time looking at the map than you are actually playing the game for what its actual story is, for its missions, and things like that. Which, basically, the game boils down to you're going to be walking for most of the time. You're going to be walking more than you're actually going to be playing. Which, Fortnite already did that. Okay, Fortnite already has me running around for like 60% of the game looking for people to fight, and I can't find anyone, okay? So, <laughs> so like, it just doesn't look that good to me, alright? I'm just not very excited for this game at all because of that one feature, you know? And especially, Watch Dogs 2, I think it was, the, both of the other Watch Dogs games were very much overhyped, but Watch Dogs 2 was praised because... Compared to Watch Dogs 1, it had a tighter story and more interesting characters. And Watch Dogs 3 was just like, screw all the characters, screw the story, we're just going to make um, anti-society uh, stuff because that's what's trending today, and we're just going to like, um, you know, we're cool, so we're just going to make it so that you don't have to care about any one character, and you can just look at everyone, which takes away uh, like any narrative value we had because we're cool like that. Um, you can play as a grandma though, so that's pretty lit, and that's what the entire game boiled down to. And it's gonna sell, and I and I, that is what makes me the most mad is that people are actually gonna buy it. So, I'm hoping it's not that. I'm hoping they actually do try to have a decently interesting story with good characters, and gameplay that's that where you don't spend more time walking than you actually do completing missions, because it would just be so terrible if you did that. And yeah, um, if you guys. Let me know what you guys think about Watch Dogs 3 in the comment section below. If you liked this video, make sure to leave it a like. Subscribe to Jay. Subscribe today, sorry, to join the TR Army, and we're going to be uploading a lot in the future. So make sure to keep those notifications on. That's all for today. Random Recorders, peace out.